welcome to Sweat with Self. I'm Coach Randy. And I'm Coach Kwan. And this is our fitness series for runners. What we've got on deck today for our band mobility work. When we do these exercises, we prevent injury so we can keep running. We're gonna start off with some lateral band walks. It's really important you keep a soft knee here, engage your core, tuck your pelvis under, and we're gonna move to the right. Little small controlled steps. You ready, Quan? You know it. All right, let's do it. So five to the right. You've got one. Nice and controlled. Good. Four and five. We go left. Good. Control it. If you need to get a little bit of a thicker band, moving to the right. Five, four. You can give more resistance with a thicker band. So if you're like, oh, this is easy peasy. I want to feel a little bit more of a pull. Grab a thicker band. Very good. If for whatever reason you don't have access to a thicker band, get a little bit lower and open up that gate a little bit. That way you can get more attention into the band that you already have. So we're gonna do this, a very similar movement, but we're gonna come forward. Same principles apply. You want soft knees, you wanna engage your core. If your band's light, again, get a little bit deeper, a little bit lower. We're gonna move up for six and then back for six. All right, let's do it. Here we go. We move up. Again, small controlled movement. And now we're gonna go back and we go back. Two, three, four, again, and then right back up again. We go forward, yes. Remember to keep your posture here, folks. Keep your head up, chest up, and your shoulders peeled back. Posture is key here. Yes, I love it. Posture is key, just like that, all right? Next movement, we're gonna focus on single leg work. As a runner, it's really important that you practice single leg balance single leg work because when we're running, we're up on one leg all the time. So we want our body to be able to support itself on one leg. So you're gonna balance here on your left leg. There's two motions in this next exercise. We're gonna come straight out to the side and a lateral raise and then we're gonna bring it back to a 45 degree angle and then we're gonna repeat it. So we're gonna start here on our right side. Five, here we go. We go out side into the back, side into the back. If you're struggling with your balance, pull that core in. If you're feeling a little bit of issues with your balance, make sure you have a slight bend in the stabilizing knee. And when you get that 45 degree angle, really try to feel your glute activate, all right? You're gonna feel your butt ball up a little bit as you kick out. Really embrace that feeling. You're gonna activate that posterior chain and get this thing going. Yes, all right, we're gonna switch sides. Great advice, Quan. Again, balancing on that stabilizing leg, that soft bend in your knees, come straight out to the side. We've got out and back, out, very nice. Just breathe here. Really take your time. One of my balance tricks is I will pick one spot and focus on it and not take my eyes off it. So if you want a little trick up your sleeve, pick a spot and focus on it. Two more just here. We've got side and back. Bang. Relax. Woo! Feel that burn right in your glutes. If you're not feeling it in your glutes, we gotta fix something, right? That's where you wanna feel it. Okay, so for our next exercise, we're gonna bring the band under our feet. And we are gonna work on, now these bands can be a little fussy, no big deal. Straighten them out, get them where you want them to go, take your time here. This is a really wonderful exercise for something called knee drive. What's a knee drive? As a runner, you wanna make sure those knees can come up easily and that all your muscles are supporting you. So with this resistance band underneath you, it's gonna be a great practice tool, a great injury prevention tool. If you can, try to get this knee all the way up to 90 degrees. If you're not there yet, that's okay. Stick with us and you'll get there. You ready, Quan? You already know. All right, five on that right leg. Here we go. We've got up. When you adjust that band to your foot, make sure it's in the middle of your foot. You drive up for that knee drive. Try to point your toe a little bit. Used to that consistent strike pattern. It translates very smoothly when you run. The more efficient your strike pattern, the more efficient your running becomes. Yeah, last one there. We're gonna do 10 more on this left side. Here we go. We've got up, two. Try to land in the same spot each time if you can. Build that repetition and that muscle memory. Gotta build that muscle memory. One more, finish strong here. There we go. Nice work. We're gonna take this band and we're gonna move down onto the mat together for some bridges. So go ahead and wiggle that band around, get it situated and meet us down on the mat. So for banded bridges, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your band, get it up comfortably above your knees, 
kind of right in the middle of your quads. It's not separating for you. No worries, you've got that resistance. Now with our bridges here, we're gonna do 10 single bridges. Keep your foot firmly planted on the ground. Engage that core and I want you to get up as high as you can for me. We ready, Quan? You already got Let's it. Let's go, here we go, give me 10. Try to keep that band flat on your legs. For those of us with hair on our legs, it can get a little tight. So make sure it's nice and flat so you don't pull any of that hair. Love that advice. I would have missed that one. Give me four, three, nice. Two more, just like this. Really squeeze those glutes together. All right, now we're gonna hold it up here. I know it burns. Next exercise, I want you to give me some clam shells. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep that booty engaged. You're gonna bring it, you're gonna open it up and bring it back in. Let the resistance of the band make this a challenge for you. Very good. Out and in, out and in. We've got four more just like this. Try to keep that booty pulled all the way up as high as you can get it. Two more, two and one. Nice, slow release. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come up and we're gonna move that band back down to our ankles. This is one of my all-time favorite exercises. So fantastic for injury prevention. Again, when we're running, we think of all those big muscle groups working hard, but it's our little stabilizing muscles that support those big muscles. And that's what we're working on today with this band work. So we're gonna bring it up into a lateral raise just like that. Kwan's got it mastered. You're gonna give me 10 singles. We're gonna move through a sequence here. You're gonna feel this on the outer side of your hip and glute, okay? Really focus on that burn. Really think about what you're trying to activate as you're going through each movement. Intention is key. We got pulses now. We're gonna move into pulses. Now this one, whoo, never really gets easier. I want you to stick with us here. Four, three, you're gonna keep it engaged. Two, here we go. Tricky, I want you to take your heel. I want you to pretend like you're stuck in mud and I want you to do backward circles. Ooh, grind in that heel. There you go. Perfect. Just nice circles backwards. You should feel this in your hips and glutes. Give me five more. Nice. Keep that tension in the band. It's gonna reach the peak tension at the top of the circle, okay? Really feel that glute activate and fire. Overachiever right here. Bonus! Bonus from Quan. We're gonna switch sides and do the exact same thing. I love your advice on keeping the tension. We don't wanna cheat it, right? We wanna, we're taking the time right now for ourselves. Let's make these movements count. So we're gonna start with those 10 singles. We've got 10 singles, 10 pulses, and 10 circles. Let's do it, here we go. 10. Breathe, folks. Keep that nice, even count. Breathe. Halfway there, give me five. Four, again, allowing the tension of the band to work for you while not forgetting about your core and the rest of your form. One more, now we've got pulses. Woo! Remember with the pulses, we're keeping it very, very tight here. That range of motion gets cut in half. You're gonna feel that burn and that tension the entire time you're moving. There's no rest in the rep here, just nice, nice tight engagement. Yes, love it. No rest, hang in with us. Now we've got those 10 circles, you know, you love it. That's 10, nine, really focus on keeping the resistance, keeping that band tight, like Juan said. Five more. That band has a purpose. Make sure you're using it. Keep it nice and tight. Give me two strong ones. Hang in there and release. Nicely done. All right, Quan, we've got banded bicycles up next. So take your band, get it right around the ball of your feet. Same spot right in the middle on both sides and we're gonna come down to the mat. Now, as you come down to the mat, don't forget about your core. You're gonna take your lower back and gently push it down into the mat. Place your hands behind your head. We're gonna bring our legs up into a 90 degree angle and we are gonna do a bicycle here and use the resistance of the band to our advantage. So we're gonna twist to the back, twist and center. Again, very good. Remember folks, it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Extend and twist. Yes, depending on your level, you can be up a little higher that's still awesome. If your core's got a little more strength and you wanna go for a lower angle, go for it. Give me three, two more, right here. 
Finishing with strong form. And one. Very good, all right. I've got good news for you. What are we doing next? Again. We're gonna hop up and we're gonna do it all again. So if you remember, we started with our lateral band walks. Going back to that control, allow the resistance of the band to work with you and challenge you. We're gonna move five right, engage core, soft knees. Here we go. We move five. Back the other direction. We're getting it. We can do a count. We got this. Three, two, one. A bonus. Other way. Again, controlling those legs. You don't necessarily need gigantic movement to have success here. Back the other way. You want to really control that movement. Good. Hands, you can put them where you want. All right. So similar thing with that second exercise, but we're going to move forward. Soften in the knees if you want that extra resistance. Get a little lower in that squat. Right leg goes forward. Here we go. We've got five, four, two, one. Now we go back, back, back. Good. Back forward, last set. Whoop. Six, yep, and then back. <laughs> nice We're dancing, move. folks. We're dancing. We're dancing. It's all a dance movement. Very good. All right. So we've got a little bit more of a challenging movement here, moving into that single leg work. Again, really wonderful focus as a runner. So take that left stabilizing leg, get that right leg off the ground. We're gonna move to the side and then back, here we go. So we've got five in each direction. So give me four more. Good. And one, switching sides. Now look, I know these exercises are not always easy. I am a mama of five kids, all right? So all of these little exercises coming back postpartum, we're gonna start with this leg, lift it up. These have allowed me to come back safely and strongly. So whether you are a beginning runner, whether you're coming back from an injury or a break, these exercises are gonna support you and strengthen you so that you can do, last one, those wonderful things that you want to do. So take time to do these little exercises. They will pay off, right? We've got knee drive up next. So we're gonna move that band down to the middle of our feet. We're gonna again stabilize on that left leg. Focus on bringing that right knee up to 90 degrees. We've got five of them, five. Good, and if you wanna be a little more advanced, you can actually keep that leg, that foot from touching the ground. Switch sides. We're doing two sets of this. Try to keep those hips facing forward. Three, two, one. Let's repeat it one more time. Here we go. We go, whoop, nice. Breathing through the mo movement. Last one. Remember folks, as we're doing these, try to alternate those arms as well. Very similar to your running motion. Nice and controlled, nice and smooth. Love it. Last one. The movements that we're doing, if they ever are mimicking running, we wanna stay close to that form so that when we translate it to the treadmill or when we go outside, our bodies have amazing muscle memory. So we take all of this, all these exercises and we can apply them to our running. We're gonna move down onto the mat. Move that band down and hit some lateral raises. So come over onto your side. Remember, this is all about resistance and tension. You want these to be tough. So we're gonna, we've got 10 singles coming up right here, 10. When I get a new athlete who is training for a race, one of the most common questions I get is, I don't wanna get hurt. When I work on my own, I've been injured so many times and I really wanna be able to complete that 5K, complete that 10K. We're gonna go into pulses here, hold it straight up. Nice controlled pulses. How do I prevent injury? This is how these little movements really make all the difference in the world. So take time to do these right. Take time to do them consistently. Three, two, one. We're gonna do those backward circles through the mud. Hang in there with me. Remember, keep it tight, folks. Keep that motion tight and consistent. Yes. Four, three, two. Almost there. <laughs> Bang. Ooh. We're getting it, That'll feeling it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Switch sides. Yes. All right, you ready for one more strong go oh, with this? Oh, might as well, Let's from the top. Let's do it, boom. Let's go. All right, from the top, we've got 10 singles. Also, when you're working on form, 
You want everything in a line, your hips, your knees, your ankles, all those joints stacked on top of one another. I lost count, Quan, how many do we have left? We got three more, let's okay, get it. Okay, three, two. All right, hold, there we go, hold it. Give and me that pulse. tension, yes. All right, finishing up those pulses. We're gonna hang tough for one more killer exercise in this series. Give me those backward circles. Let's do it. Keeping that tension, keeping it tight, bringing it all the way back around. Almost there. Make sure yes. you're making a complete circle on this. Don't stop the motion. Yes. Keep it going. Digging through that mud. I think we're doing a few bonus ones, but that's a good thing. Three, two, and one. Let that tension Who relax. Who doesn't need extra glute work? Come on now. Exactly. All right, we're gonna finish strong with some banded bicycles. Get that band right in between the middle of your feet the best you can. Place those hands softly behind your neck. Legs come up. Get that lower back nice and close to the mat. We're gonna twist with me. We've got 10 banded bicycles. We've got 10. Good. Breathe through these. Well, remember folks, we're at the end of this second lap, so make sure you challenge yourself here. Get those feet as close to the ground as possible. Try to control your midsection. It can really help you at the end of a nice long run. It'll help you stay in it and finish strong. I love it. Let's finish. Let's do a few bonus. You ready for some bonus? Four more all the way through. Four. Keeping that form, staying engaged. Final two, nice and strong. I'm losing my band. Hang on to it. One. We got it. There we go. To avoid losing your band, folks, try to make sure you keep it in the middle of your feet at all times. Keep it in the middle, keep it secured and it won't move on you. Thank you so much for joining us. Woo, I got it. Band mobility work for runners. And we'll see you in the next workout.